Hi guys, welcome back again. Nice to see you again. Today we are going to play some Amazon Nature again for sure. If the game lets us. And then after those 10 P2E games, we're going to switch to sealed mode to grind a little bit more for the top 20 in mid-march madness all right so who's going to be our first opponent today um and by the way guys if something is wrong with the sound especially with the microphone please tell me i got a new microphone and it's a hassle I'm not sure about it if it's any better than before. Might be worse in the beginning, but if I'll make some adjustments, I guess it's going to be better in the long run. So, here our first opponent is Agro Magic. Uh, Divine Coronet Magic type of thing. Let's see. Thing, Hotak is too big for sure, and we won't need Ico, I guess. Pyramid Warden and the two one drops is good, I think. Best of luck. Let's see. I guess we just start with our two one drops here. And I hope it's going to be alright. Shadow Scryer hitting our face. Let's attack these two, and we go for face. Spell sight, see ya. Good morning, Solar. Welcome back. Are you still awake, or are you just up early? Nice to see you again, man. I'll come back. No, bro, just woke up an hour ago. I see, I see. Okay, how do we deal with this guy? The uh, Scuttler sentry is for sure a pain. Maybe we play Pyramide Warden, Underbrush Boar. We go face. We need to be fast against this guy. Getting my coffee and going to play some sealed too. Awesome. That's a good plan, man. Nice start in the day. I can't do that. Ah, I guess we let him trade. We go for maximizing the damage here. You woke up early and doing some sports now? <laughs> no problem. Uh, I was very early, I woke up like like five hours ago and I was doing stuff in the household and trying out my new microphone and yeah, hello Wengelov, welcome back now it's time for streaming today is the last day of, of holidays tomorrow I gotta go to work again but I'll try to stream 
a lot as long as we got uh, this mid-March madness going. Even though it's April now. By the way, guys, <clears throat> is the microphone sound okay? I'm not quite sure. I was trying a little bit with the new microphone and I'm just not sure about it if it's any... Uh, sounds great in my opinion. Okay. Awesome. That makes me happy. So he got a warp engineer already. But he... Yeah, he got a card in his hand. Okay, I thought he got no cards. That would make no sense. I think it would be cool if we would play these two. But if we do, we cannot play Raging Giant next turn. Hmm. Mr. Prompa! Hello, welcome back to you too. I guess we go for maximizing the damage. Not sure if we should grab anything here. Maybe not yet. Such a petty existence. There's one de a card left in his deck. Is it the Divine Coronet? I guess not, otherwise he wouldn't have played Warp Engineer. This is probably his second Warp Engineer or Giramonti. One of these two. This is not the way. Oh fuck, I just recognized we cannot play Raging Giant anyway. We are still missing a half mana. So we probably should have played the Wand. Hmm. I'm worried. I guess we are not fast enough. So, what are we going to draw? He's getting the Rune of Life. Okay. Another Feet on Blade. That could help us in the end finishing him. Next turn, he's for sure playing his second warp engineer for two. And he will discount his divine coronet that is going to cost one. And Geramonti is four man. So he cannot play both at the same time. I don't know, I don't know. Hope it's going to be all right. I've done all that I can. Please. But I guess probably not. We are too So there is his divine coronet. Hand card amount is not uh not correct. Yeah, he's holding Giramonti. Okay, if we play this one, we could do 8 damage in his face. 8 plus 2 plus 2 is 12 plus 1 from the wand and he's dead. Crazy top deck.
That's just insane. Exactly what we needed. Yeah. I thought already this game will be lost or at least extremely hard. But then, yeah, you just tap deck something like that. Nice. Okay. So, and who's going to be our next opponent? Hopefully we can do better than yesterday. Just four wins is a Six or seven would be good. See? It's for sure a good start today. Waiting for opponent. They ask. Here we go. And next opponent is playing war. war. And we are going second. That's not a good sign for the beginning, I guess. Uh, we have a really hard time against war. Against Zu war going second. Lightly Foria should be all right. The rest. I guess we can keep it for going second. Okay. Starting aggressive one drops. I guess Sanctum Guardian is not good right now. He will just trade them off. Enduring Shield. Oh crap. This looks bad already. Guess we need to play River Jumper if we want to have anything that survives this next turn. Oh, it will not survive due to Warmonger's. Damn it, he'll just trade it off. Warmonger Smith gets. Protected. Why is he playing Fracture? I thought he'll trade it off. Oh, Ico is a nice option. Top. Let's hope he cannot kill her. But yeah, he just needs a Blitz creature though. Or Blade of Sticks, okay. already getting a lootable corpse. Have no chance to get the relic removal. Hmm. It's, it's not good. It's definitely I would like to keep uh, the pip for Hortak actually, but I guess we need to deal two damage here to to kill him anytime soon, so we don't get too much behind on the board. So he has four cards in hand and four mana left. Oh, woodcutter him. Bad. Yeah, it's not that helpful right now to and finish him by trading these two and playing Fracture since she's going guaranteed buffing Warmonger Smith. Oh. 
doing it differently. Maybe he got another blade of sticks. Overproof brew. Okay, so it's even worse. He can even keep his creature and finish my board. He got also still two cards in his hand. Shredder would be great if he could play him. Ah. Okay, but this is fine too. That was pretty lucky. Warmongers. Enraged app. Finish Warmongers. Maybe we should have taken something. Okay, he's at zero favor, so it's all. Guild and. Let's get Hoplite, build the board. Next turn, we can play Hawtuck. Fracture on the boar, yeah, for sure. Ah, he's trading. But we can finish these two next turn. That's good. Actually, I guess we can turn it around now with Hawtuck. We just gain Frontline and Leech. And we can trade these two off. And we hit base. GG, alright! Hawtuck was the rescue. And Shredder too, I guess. Also very important that we had Canopy Barrage from Create. That was just lucky. So, our next opponent is magic again, but this time it's card draw magic, and he's playing wall of lightning twice. That is a strange choice. I'm curious, maybe it is going to be a pain in our Amazon ass. Let's shuffle Shredder in and Blade, Blade first, so we don't draw another Blade. This looks good, we keep it. Shadow Scryer. Nightly Foria, here we go. He's playing Faraday Cage twice. This card is a problem for our Amazons. But he's no playing No Shaped Blast. I'm wondering, we could create his creature off. Or we go for Finian, but Finian is going to die if we quit like that. I don't know. Let's go for face and build on the board a little. Maybe. Maybe we can make it a little harder for him to kill Finian. Going for Phineas. And playing Demetrios. Okay. I would like to finish him, but I guess we have no opportunity. Ancient texts, even. And he's finishing the boar. Oh. Answer the call. Damn 
I think it's not looking too good. I think just Finian would be too slow. But now I think he's probably playing Faraday Cage. First trading this one off, then playing Faraday Cage to finish all. Also playing two tracking balls, that would also be a pain. He's thinking pretty long. Maybe he has no easy option. Would be cool. But with two tracking bolts and twice Faraday cage, the chance is pretty low, I guess. But he got nothing of those. Yeah, he's playing it now. Ah, oh, fuck. Exactly like I thought he would do it. Shit. And he can get Valka's discovery. Uh-oh. This is bad. Final draft in our face and he's drawing three cards, that's crap. Gotta deal with him. And I hope that maybe Boria will survive. Oh, he'll probably not when he does it, does it with Layout Hatchling. Gather opportunity trade. Or just, yeah, a form of power. Damn it, I was hoping we could get frenzied and play Raging Giant. We can only go white, and he'll probably hmm. has another trekking bolt or Faraday cage, right like this, and then. Ooh. Hmm. Going for face though. Yeah, okay, if he goes with the layout hatchling for phase 2, we are down to 14. He could play Worm Breath, bringing us down to 9. Pyric Knowledge to 4. And then there's not much left. We have no way of having lethal anytime soon when he got a 21. Time is running up. Gotta decide. Star shot bolt on her. Okay, that's a. 
going to finish Finian for sure too. Huh? Tracking bolt. Oh god. So we are going to have an Amazon recruit 2-2. Two, two, right? Yeah. Can trade him off though. If he wants to. Ah, he goes for face. Okay. We hit the face and we play Raging Giant. I guess, I, I hope, he's going to have problems removing that giant, but on the other hand, I guess he will have lethal soon. We are just down too much with our life. Okay, two spell boost, guys. That's not a good sign. Boom breath. Yeah. Answer the call. Hmm. What's up with the music? Oh no, it died. So do we have any chance to just with Hawthack, I guess. But that takes one turn. I guess he will kill us. And I don't mean the arcane variety. We were just a little bit too slow. Yeah, okay, unbound flames, damn it. Good game though. Definitely a good game. I don't know what we could have done different. I guess we were making no major mistakes. So, our next opponent is magic again. But it's again Divine Coronet magic. Gotta focus on... Tempo. And I guess this hand is pretty good for that focus. Shuffle Landcaller in. Canopy Sniper 2. Thank to Guardian 2. Orlak Tadu. What a name. Let's start with Pyramid Warden. Us and Chantry. It's pipping into Dying Carpet. Hopefully we draw something for three mana. Times two. Awaken. Okay, we got a trade here. Keep control over the board. It's got lost entry. And already lost in depth. Oh shit. That's not good. Oh, and played a fight plane. Oh no. We all have our limitations. This is pretty bad. <laughs> we are way too slow. 
Mm, we're going to lose this. He got only one card left in his deck. Answer the call. If we are lucky, Myrtle's daughter is going to buff Canopy Sniper. That would be cool, so we could play uh, Divya next turn to make a whole lot of more damage. Yeah, we are lucky. So, zero cards left in his deck, so he can pull off his combo according to his plan, right in time. Making Divine Corona cheap. And then he's playing the Divine Corona. Still got Geramonti then in his hand. Crap, so next turn he will have for sure huge. Now it all depends on what creatures he is going to see. I think we still have a small chance left. But we will see. It all comes down to what kind of creature he's going to see. Ha, <laughs> GG. That was not lucky. Nice. I thought we are done. He got poly or something like that. No chance. Oh, let's try again. So, it's going to be your next up. Zombie tempo? What? Wait, wait, what? We have an opponent that started in Solar Gold this weekend ranked. That's strange. He fall down and he's back to... Oh, I don't know. I wasn't paying too mu um, enough attention for that. But zombie tempo can be a pain. But we have a pretty good hand. We keep that. We are going first. Oh, let's start with Pyramide Warden. Nice. This is for sure a problem for Zombie if he's not having Curse of Greed. And God, I'll guess we keep the board clean here. Oh, BG. That was a fast one. Unable to join Q. Game for Sila and Ragnar! Welcome back to you too! Nice to see you guys. 
I hope you enjoy the stream. Cheers. Krasen is our next opponent, and he plays ramp magic. With one Demogorgon and one Ember Oni. Strange decision to play one of each, I guess. But he's also playing Shaped Blast twice. This is not going to be. Guess we shuffle the blade in for shoe. Thank you, Ragnar. Not whose daughters too. We go first. Oh, and River Jumper is going to be a great help. How many diamonds are you running now? I think 15. This is a pretty different version from my diamond heavy 27 diamond version. Um, I'm not sure. River Jumper, I guess, is not good because we want to play him later when he's ready for Shaped Blast. It's like I try to play here a more competitive version of the deck. And it works way better than the full diamond version. Or nearly full diamond. Awaken. Demetrios. Demetrios, the next turn he can have 4 mana with the pip. I guess we play Finian. He can finish Finian if he wants. With his final draft and his ping. But then we still have an Apple and Canopy Sniper. And we can gain 6 favor. To grab onto Hoplite. And play River Jumper and Hoplite. Both next turn. He cannot clear those. Oh, Tracking Bolt. So... Hmm... I'm wondering why he's doing it like this. I'm confused. I'm totally confused. I didn't expect that. Let's get Hoplite. And let's pip into River Jumper. So even if he got Shaped Blast, it'll just pop his ward, kill these two. That's not doing too much. Ah, but he's ramping. Okay. So he can probably earlier use Unbound Flames. Hmm. That makes sense. But we can push now a whole lot of damage. And next turn he's still not ready for Unbound Flames. I really hate ramp magic. I see, yeah, man. I understand that. And for me, with, with Amazons, it's usually uh, okay ish matchup. It's not too bad most of the time. We have good chances. Getting Gleam. Dipping into Gleam. Oh, that's GG. What a top deck. But I guess it would have been GG anyway. Ramp Magic has serious problems removing my Raging Giant. And when he got armor especially. Then he can do nothing about it. Yeah, it's nice because Amazons have a lot of ward. Yeah, that's right, but I don't even play much ward anymore. I have only the two river jumpers left. Mm. Be gentle to my colleague. <laughs> I be gentle all the time, but not in-game. In-game, I'm... An asshole. Oh, it's too late. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you, Game for Sila. Thank you so much. We are dropping frames, by the way. Do you recognize that? Hmm. I'm not sure here. Our opponent plays Zubo. Yeah, a little laggy. Oh, I hope I can solve that. <laughs> I don't know why it's laggy, though. I'm sorry, guys. Oof. Good luck. Answer the call. Hmm. Let's play Feet Horn Blade. Oh, it's really bad with the legs. And I don't know why. Oh, he can finish him. Why is it that laggy? I'm really wondering. Awaken. We all have our limitations. This is a hard matchup. Um, maybe I'll try something. Maybe I'll be um, shown as offline for a short time. But I want to solve that lagging problem. I hope now it's going to be all right. Put those hamsters to work. Yeah, we have to. We got no choice. Oh, damn it. He bumped into the wrong guy. Maybe I should have played the warden instead. Make them run. Yeah, they gotta run fast. And it looks like it helped. It's not laggy anymore, right? Hmm, I guess we're going to die. This looks bad. Blade is actually really good. But I guess it's too late. Your friends will make a fine feast. Overkill, oh God. Yep, it seems they are doing their job now. I hope so. It's sometimes really strange with my connection. But it seems to help. Um, 
when I just turn wireless LAN off and then on again. So we are down to eight. We have six mana left. Myrtle's daughter. Hmm. We might survive with one health. Oh no, he got two of those. I didn't know. Ah, GG. You streaming on wireless? Yeah, I do. I cannot... I cannot uh, do it wired. Because... Uh, I would to have to... Oh, fuck. The frames are dropping again. Because I had to lay a cable completely through the whole flat. Fuck, why are we dropping those frames again? Cannot understand that. Got a nice connection. Hmm, it's so strange. Sometimes it works for hours without any hiccup, and sometimes it's just a huge problem. Dude Control, welcome back. Good to see you. Ah, damn it. Why is it that laggy? Gotta investigate that after the stream, I guess. Hmm. Our next opponent is Atlantean. A oh, long time ago that I've played against Atlantean with my Amazon tank. Let's shuffle Mortus Daughter in first. Blade of Fight Plane and Raging Giant. Yeah, I let it run a cut five cable two meters to avoid this. Yeah, I understand, man. I would love to have a cable connection too. But yeah, it's like I have to place a cable through the hallway and the dining room and the sleeping room. Yeah, it makes a difference for sure. Cable good, yeah. But I just cannot do it. Hmm. Yeah, I li literally kind of just tape it along the wall. Yeah, maybe I, I will do that probably too. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, it's going to be a such a long cable, or oh, it like, I guess, fifteen meters. It's going to be crazy. But if I run it, probably I send it to the basement through the wall and the floor. Ah, uh, that sounds like a pain. Drill the whole apartment. My turn. Canopy sniper here is cool, I guess. If we are lucky, no one is going to die. And we are lucky. It's not. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, me probably too. 
We don't really need the relic removal here. Avalanche Watcher. And Tinker? Yeah, he's playing Tinker. With Tinker... Canopy snipers are not going to help. But maybe combined power of Aiko and Myrtle are going to be enough. Going to be. Yeah. Dipping into his Avalanche Watcher. So it's an 8 9 now. Ah. Uh, that is a, a little bit too big. Or maybe we can exactly like this. Okay. Let's see if I can Ooh. find some order in this chaos. GG. Six two already. That's good. I'm pretty f satisfied with the score today so far. Mm. I gotta change up the playlist a little bit. It's a little bit too slow for me, I guess. Just a little. Maybe we go for. Let's try jazz. Waiting for opponent. I guess we'll try to restart that. Since we were already waiting for over for over a minute. The opponent avoided the match against you. Probably. Chupanio, welcome back. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? He was scared. Maybe. Oh, and here we play against Agro Magic again. It's good that we go first, I guess. Need to shuffle Moto in. Yes. We might just keep the rest. Finian is a good start. I guess our chance to get a stronger one drop than Sanctum Guardian is quite small. On the other hand, I guess he cannot finish Sanctum Guardian first turn. So we get guaranteed an apple from Finian on our second turn. The calm before the storm. Oh, we even have a second one drop. Nice. Getting ready to go to the pool. Dropped by. Oh, nice. Sounds good. Enjoy your pool. Thank you for dropping by, man. Atlant Forager just okay. problem. Hmm, Canopy Sniper is tempting. But I guess in the long run it's better to trade him off and to go haste for an apple. Next turn we're playing River Jumper.
Oh, in this case, we probably... Probably play canopies. Oh, I don't like it. We have to play River Jumper. We need the tempo. But as long as he has no lost in depth, it's alright. Ah, uh, but now he's getting it. Ah. Uh, dang. Down to 22. The universe if we are lucky, the Divine Coronet or one of the portal, not portal wranglers, one of the discount guys still in the deck. You got this. I hope so, man. I hope so. It's time to duel. Yeah, Tsamacha, welcome back. Great to see you. What are we going to do here? I guess combat medic and trash buckler should I've done all that I can. Yes! GG! I love you, bro. I missed GU without you. I guess you mean Samacha, huh? GG, man. Dude. Here we go. One more P2E game. And then I'm going to do a short break to get a cup of coffee and then we switch to sealed. Yeah, so much that tells funny jokes. He does. That means a lot to me, dude. And so much I think a lot of people in the community are um, thinking the same way, like, dude, you are really a huge enrichment to our community. Wasser Marsch? All right. Let's drink. Yeah, game for Sila. In jokes, I'm ELO 2460. Yeah, you learned from the best. Right? Abso-freaking-lutely. You can tell. I see. Only Gangster Sammy surpassed me. Yeah, because he's Grandmaster of jokes. Not to be mistaken by the Grandmaster of jokes. That's a little bit different. Dubious, do you think so? Rick Hugh. Yeah, probably. It's taking too long. Ah, game launch failed. One forty five seems buck. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm. It's still taking long. Maybe nobody is playing this anymore. Ah, here we go. Music is strange, but I like it somehow. 
Oh, we play with deception. Ah, it's strength, steel, deception. But with little strength, steel, I think it's more like hidden rush deception in a strange way when I take a look at the deck. He's playing Cobra Scepter twice. So I guess we maybe should keep Ico, huh? Let's keep that. For going second, it's fine. It's wreck time! Best of luck. Okay. I don't know much about it. Like old school salon piano player, but in the future. <laughs> I see. My former girlfriend used to play something like that. The calm before the storm. Oh, this is crap. I don't like that pickpocket guy. going to steal something good whatever he takes My turn. oh yeah me too this is so fun gemacht on a uh, clavier yeah uh, I'm quite sure yeah yeah Yeah, I got Finian. Crap. I don't like this. At all. Answer the call. Hmm. What are we supposed to do here? We all have our limitations. I can't do that. We all have our limitations. That is not possible. For now, I must rest. So... Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's called Strength Steel Deception on GU meta because he is playing two Blade Borrower. That's actually the only reason, the only card that steals strength in his deck. I guess the blade is a good help. If he got no removal for it, especially. Since we are probably going to draw a second card. But we are still so weak on the board. Hmm. I'm worried. And we draw our bricks. Oh, crook. What a mask. Going to get hunting trap or stone skin poison. It's going to take, I guess, Onyx Nightblade, so we cannot grab a removal for this one. Or oh, he's even getting another bell. Oh. Not good. Yeah, he's grabbing it, like I thought. Ah. Answer the call. Yeah. 
I have. If we can keep up until 6.5 mana, we might turn it still around with Hawtuck. I guess we cannot. Yeah, especially with Sneaky Bruiser here. He's going to push way too much damage. Fresh buckler is getting to if ya yeah. But I guess it's not going to be much help. So he can deal now for sure 9 damage. So... Oh, you're really playing a top-heavy Amazon deck. Nah, not really, not really. Uh, Hawtuck and, and Thariel are my top end. And at the 6 mana slot I only have one card, the Raging Giant. No, two cards. Raging Giant and the Shredder, the Shark. So I have four cards that are above five mana. So it's like more a mid-range deck, I guess. Mid-range Amazon. He's not going for face with them all. Oh, but he can clear the board anyway. Woof. Ow. For an aggro deck, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, I guess it's not really an aggro deck. It's more a mid-range deck, I guess. In this state, like I play it. If you want, uh, I can post you the link to the deck. Mm. Oh, win rate is not even bad. 60% over 116 games. But now we are dead. There's nothing we can do here. If we could play Hawtuck already, but we are half mana short. Pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. GG. So I guess ending with 7-3 is pretty satisfying. I like it. We have like... 1.56k of fragments. So I guess that's going to be something like 9 gods or... Yeah. I guess around 9 gods. Considering playing that 5 mana Amazon that deals 3 damage and 12 instead of blade? Hmm... Yeah... That could be an option. I was going for Blade since it's a little bit more sticky. It got three health instead of two. Chrissy, welcome back. Good to see you. Um, five mana Amazon. Zatonian Spearfisher. Hmm. I was playing that guy before too. And I'm really not sure because sometimes. Sometimes I have problems with Guild Enforcer. Not so many people are playing that, but some sheep decks, uh, especially Agro War and sometimes even Deception, 
or whatever play guild enforcer so that's probably why i prefer the blade he is better than blade for sure yeah i'm thinking about amazon synergy yeah yeah that's right that's right i'm not sure about it should we try both it's the upside is he's five attack yeah five attack is crazy strong that's right i don't really want to cut one blade for one if i would cut two blades for two since we need to ensure a strong mulligan even though he's not sticky he's almost the same as the blade yeah that's right a two health is pretty whack yeah hmm. I think we can try it maybe let's try it tomorrow and we'll see makes the deck even a little bit more shiny again that means we have now 8 10 12 14 16 diamond yeah from 2 to 3 hp is really not really not that much the only thing I can imagine where it makes a difference is when you play against a magic deck that has a lot of uh, one mana spells that they can remove it just with a form of power or something like that. But otherwise it probably won't matter in the most cases. Let's create a copy. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. It's not really control, I guess, but I like it. Being able to snipe away stronger guy in the mid range is too good. Especially good with the stuff that kicks your ass. Yeah, yeah. Especially against like Zuvor, for example. And you can dwell. Good follow up. Yeah, that's right. That might be even better than what we would draw with the blade. All right, guys. I'm taking a short break for like three or four minutes. And I will get a coffee and then I'll be right back with Seal. That's... Nowadays, so little Zuvo to feed on, you think so? I'm glad that it's not much more. Yes, because you run a lot of shit one-drops that don't cut it on turn 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, that's right. Just make your entire hand looking like Tetis. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back with Seal. Thank you for watching so far, and I hope you stick with me. Uh, in the meantime, I will do advertisement. We have less advertisement.